So you, you're a moderate Republican. You haven't been a huge fan of President Trump from the no. very beginning. How has the political climate had an impact on your personal call to service? Yeah, I think it motivates me in a way that it never has. Um, the beautiful part about being mayor of your hometown is that you, you don't get to send a mean tweet to somebody. You're going to see that person at the coffee shop the next day or you're going to see them at the grocery store. You have to find ways to have civility. You have to find ways to be practical and you have to govern. And, and the only way you can govern and be, uh, uh, and be effective is to bring people together. And, and that's one of the great things I love about Gresham. Our residents, they have very strong opinions, but we include them and, and we formulate and we come up with things and policies that move the community forward together. You've always told me when you've been on the show before that you're completely happy being the mayor of Gresham. Yeah. You've been the mayor for 11 years, but I understand there are people that are asking you to consider an independent run for governor in 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, Kate Brown is expected to run as a Democrat. Newt Bueller sort of the front runner right now on the mm -hmm. GOP side. Any chance you'll run for governor as an independent? Well, it's interesting. I mean, I think just exactly what we talked about with the with the political parties. Um, you know, the, both parties have a lot to learn from this last election. Uh, the the you know the Democrats um, you know can't just talk to uh, only the college educated and the liberal elite. Meanwhile, belittling people in rural Oregon that are facing huge economic problems and community decline all the way around. The Republicans, on the other hand, have to figure out how to how to govern and what do they stand for. This Republican Party, the current Republican Party, is not the party of diplomacy that George H.W. Bush had when he brought the world together to liberate Kuwait. It's not the optimistic party that Ronald Reagan talked about, and it's certainly not the moral uh, party that Abraham Lincoln uh, governed over. So I don't currently recognize this current Republican Party. So it intrigues me. The challenge with that is there's a lot of vested interests on both sides, you know, and so the money to, to run a campaign uh, becomes somewhat difficult. But I think that Oregonians are ready for practicality. These issues that we're facing with homelessness, um, with uh, crime, with the opiate uh, 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 epidemic, with the economy, they're not Republican and Democrat issues. They are. They will require all of us to be engaged. Let me ask you, what are the chances? We only have about a minute left, but the chances, if you had to put a percentage on it, that you would run? 50-50? Um, um, Possibly. I mean, I you know, I'm, I'm really interested. I think with Governor Brown, you're going to get more of the same. Um, I'm interested to see where Representative Bueller goes with his campaign. Um, again, the challenge is the funding piece of it.